Right, you guys, Microsoft records everything on your PC with Windows Recall. So does my PC have Windows Recall on it? That's one of the biggest questions I see right now on YouTube. A lot of people talking about Windows Recall. I even made a video myself. But before you start to panic about Windows Recall, it's only coming to new Copilot Plus PCs. Windows Recall isn't coming as an update to your PC that you already have. Brand new laptops and PCs just like this one will have Windows Recall built into them. As you can see right here, there will be a key on the keyboard here. When you click on this, it's going to open up Windows Recall and it's going to basically uh, start recording snapshots on everything that you do on that Windows PC. So as you can see, companies like Dell, Asus, MSI, they're all going to be rolling out brand new laptops and PCs with Copilot Plus built into them. So does my PC have Windows Recall? Most Windows PCs will not have access to Windows Recall right now. A lot of this hysteria that is going around is being created by a lot of Linux users that are talking about uh, you know, Microsoft copying all your information and privacy concerns. But really, it's only on new systems that have Copilot Plus PC like I've already showed you. So a Copilot Plus PC is going to be a device that features a MPU that can output at least 40 tops of power along with 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage and eight logical processors. So basically, in a nutshell, if you purchased a PC or laptop uh, before June 18, 2024, it does not have Windows Recall on it. If your PC was purchased after June 18, 2024, it might have Windows Recall depending on if you purchased a Copilot Plus PC. So stop panicking and stop watching people on YouTube that are causing a frenzy to try and get you to jump ship to Linux because that's where a lot of this is coming from. So if you're on an older PC, it's not going to have Windows Recall on it and it's not going to come down as a Windows update. Yes, you can download 24H2 update and it will not have Windows Recall on it. It's going to be basically a brand new computer laptop or something like that that's going to have this new technology built into it and you can check microsoft's website and they explain all of this on their website now is it a good feature for a lot of people they're going to probably get some use out of this personally i think it's an absolute invasion of people's privacy and i can see massive mistakes being made by having all of this information being captured on your computer and it's going to be taking real-time snapshots of what you're doing on your computer every three seconds and it's going to need quite a bit of storage to store all of this information on your computer which is quite frightening to be honest with you and I think a lot of people are just you know just about sick and tired of some of this new stuff that's coming from Microsoft. Now if you've got a computer and you want to check you can just type recall in the Windows start menu and if you see the recall app pop up then your PC does have recall installed and it can be disabled in the Windows settings also in the registry and you can also disable this inside the group policy editor if you're on Windows 11 Pro and above. Now just to be clear if you do have recall installed on your system and it is snapshot in every three seconds everything you do on your computer this is going to be stored locally but there's also risks with that as well and there's also major privacy concerns that what it's snapshot in. So be careful if you do have recall I would personally just disable it and turn it off if you have a recall sort of compatible PC or laptop definitely go into the settings and turn it off now one of the biggest fears is that the fact that you turn it off and it keeps re-enabling itself also that sometimes there's a bug and all of this information has now been leaked back to microsoft and you can see here it will give you some information about how you can exclude a website and how you can exclude certain stuff uh, via their website here now of course this is really new technology but personally, I have no use for this whatsoever. And I think probably 99.9% .9 of the people have also expressed the fact that they have no use for it and it shouldn't be allowed on your system because of the major privacy concerns. Now, talking about privacy and control, Microsoft have given you as much information as they normally do. But again, 
there is people out there that are still a little bit weary about what Microsoft are offering here because they are frightened that some of this stuff is going to be sent back to Microsoft. And this could be very private or sensitive information that you don't want being sent back. Now, as we speak right now, it is only stored locally and it doesn't go back and it is encrypted using BitLocker. But again, people are still not convinced with Windows Recall as an option or a feature that they want on their computer. So just to clarify, the stuff is stored locally. It is encrypted with BitLocker and it's not going to be on every PC that you have today. It's on brand new computers that were and purchased after June 18th, 2024. So to be clear, you can disable it, like I've mentioned. And if you look on Microsoft's website, they teach you how to disable it if you do have one of these Copilot PCs. Basically, you'll be able to go in here and uh, use group policy or registry, and you can turn it off in the Windows settings as well. If you want to see a video on how to disable all this stuff, let me know in the comments section below. I do have a laptop which is Copilot Plus uh, compatible, and it will be able to show you exactly what the settings are and how it captures data and all that stuff. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments section below. But Microsoft have got all of the pages up there. I will leave all those links in the video description so you can read all the information about Windows Recall and about how it works and about how you can disable it and things like that. So it's not time to panic yet. There's a lot of fear mongering going on. It's only on new Copilot Plus PCs. Anyway, hope this video has been informative and useful. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. If you've got any other questions, let me know in the comment section below what other stuff you want to see about this and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. Have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.